the situation here is um, you've got two categor categorical variables happening. So in this case, um, when we record our data, people are falling into the category of either being male or female, and they're falling into the category of do they smoke or not. So we're sitting here looking at this. Uh, let me just note that for the chi-square procedure, you generally need like much bigger number. You need like at least say ten in each category. I've just done this for simplicity to show how you actually derive the expected counts because that can be confusing for some people. So the first thing, so these are our actual counts, or when we do our chi-squared test, the observed counts. So what, do, what does that mean, the expected count? How do, we, how do we get at that? Well, what you're going to do is just pick one of the variables. It doesn't really matter which. And you're going to get uh, the totals. Okay, so let's say we pick the gender variable. We know that total, um, there were five men, because there were two that smoked and three that didn't. So there were five, and along with that, there were nine women. Okay. So then we want to get the proportion with respect to the other variable. So the proportion of smokers total was six people that smoked, two plus four, divided by the total number of people in our sample. Now we had how many people total? Two plus three is five, plus five is ten, plus four is fourteen. Okay, so we take our proportion of smokers and we calculate it to be 0.4285 and the proportion of non-smokers was 0.5714. Okay, so then to get the expected count, all we're going to do is um, we just multiply the total men by the proportion of people in our sample who smoked. So that will give us the expected count for this cell and, like, okay, a lot of the time, like, you'll be told to just take the row total times the column total and divide by n. And, like, that's all well and good, but I think it's easier to see if you, well, this is, this is really the same thing, because the proportion of smokers is the, to the row total, or sorry, in this case, the column total of smokers uh, divided by, um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought, the the total number of smokers divided by the total number of people in the sample. This is really just the column total over n, but I'm trying to show the, the intuition that if we take our total number of men and the total proportion of smokers, that gives us our expected count for men who smoke and likewise for men who don't smoke. Um, so I'm hoping that this makes sense to people. When you actually work these out, we would get numbers like this, and in our case, these are fairly close to what we observed. Um, the point is, like, it didn't matter which variable we selected. You would end up with the same expected counts. Okay, so to actually do the chi-squared computation, then, you're going to take your observed minus expected squared over the expected, for each cell, and you're just going to add them up, and that's going to give you a statistic, and then you uh, would consult a chi-squared table, or hopefully you have the software to use. Uh, one other thing I want to point out is that, um, so in another tutorial I showed how to do the, uh, the a Z statistic for the difference of two proportions, so to check whether two proportions are equal. And I just want to point out this is actually the same thing. Um, we could have said, okay, let's just get counts. Um, let's take men and women and get a proportion total for each. So this would be two out of five total. This would be four out of nine total and we could do a Z test to see whether these proportions were the same, and this is going to be equivalent to the chi-squared figure that we get. Okay, thank you.